And who might you be? A caller. John Marston. Years ago, a friend of mine helped you retrieve your horse. And your leg. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on in. Arthur, wasn't it? It's the one. He, uh, passed soon after that. Ah. Sorry to hear that. I was reading through his journal. Thought I'd pay you a call. Well, I'm grateful for it. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, he was a kind man to me. Hey, you want to go out fishing? Supposed to take him years ago. All right. Sure. Why not? All right. Boat's out this way. Come on. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Mean as hell, Northern Pike. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. That our bait, then? A, a jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have the spare. Oh, they're pretty. You don't know the half of it. Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. Show him who's boss. Ha <laughs> ha! The optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. I spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell casings, even a medal. Finally found something he seems to like. But now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Wouldn't be quite so satisfying getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Got something? Uh, I got something, all right. <laughs> hey, you need. Come on now, Tyrant, I got you. I got you. Come on. Uh, oh, went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. No, oh, it's a drop back. <laughs> Hamish! Hamish! Stay there! I'll row out to you! Row quick! Bastard just bumped me! Okay. You lost anything? It's just my rod. We got my toes too. They weren't wooden. 
you want another go, Adam, I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man, even Pike. That would be a first. I'm not so sure. This is peaceful and all, but we should row. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Just a little faster. Come on! I think I hooked him. Real! Let's land the bastard!
Come on. Here we go. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> what are you sorry for? You caught him. Let's row back. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. <laughs> I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he was. <laughs> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? So long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I may. I ain't even gonna ask where you've been. Best not. My lord. What have I done to deserve this? I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some... Business with them boys or something? Oh, when Mr. Gettys goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Settle down, okay? You done? Come on. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh. Someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. 
Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <laughs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. We're fine, ain't we? <laughs> Easy there. Easy. If you want to exercise him, take him down the hill there. Give us no trouble now. Let's go! You're fine. You're okay. Ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. <laughs> Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? <laughs> Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll- hey, Easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but, but- Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you.
You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Hold. Not much longer. A little more. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know, but maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on, you know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. 
There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa! Even faster, come on! Faster? What's happening? Help! Easy there! Easy there! Whoa! Jack! <sighs> you okay? Damn. Watch your language. You okay? Yeah, I think so. You'd know it if you weren't. Get back on. Okay. All right. Oof. Let's go again. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. Yeah. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. Now really stick your boot in. If you say so. Come on, boy. Yep. Now let's slow it down. Whoa, boy. Let's bring up the pace again. All right. Yep. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Watch it. Here we are. Yep. I know you fell, but you think you're ready for a little race? I'll be fine. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Like a jockey. Last straight. Come on. Yeah. I beat you. I beat you. I. Well beat... ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it.
I'll get the coffee on. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later.